So I was looking at my channel and I noticed that it's been three weeks since the last time I uploaded a revolution video. I feel like we're due for another one. So let's get into it. Let's start it off with the pitching. Of course, our first starting pitcher comes from the Nationals. Rookie Steven Strasburg could be worse. We don't even know if we're using him yet anyway. So next up, we have the A's by the blue. Our third pitcher is coming from the free agents. I'm going Lance McCullers Jr. I like his pitch mix. Pitcher number four. Come on, we need like a lockdown dude right here. The Angels. Of course, we're going with the cover boy, Shohei Otani. And finally, our fifth and final starting pitcher will be from the Red Sox. Let's throw the future stars Brian Bello in there. Yes, I know. I said his name wrong. I promise later on in this video, I do correct myself don't hate me so that's the five-man rotation and you guys know the drill let's go ahead and spin for which pitcher we will be using number five okay we get to try out the future start all right now let's finish up the pitching side of things with the bullpen hopefully we get some good arms here pittsburgh tony watson is like a revolution staple after tony we're going to hopefully a good righty Arizona. Bro, I feel like we always get the same teams for the bullpen. J.B. Wendelkin. I'm telling you, bro, Tony Watson and J.B. Wendelkin should just like have like official slots. The Angels. I'm going with Aaron Loop. He's a lefty. He's playing up to a gold. He's got a funky delivery. Hopefully he works out today. Kansas City. I'm going super low overall. 62 Matt Peacock. I'm planning on using my veto on him. Come on, bro. We need to get a dominant reliever in here somewhere. I'm not loving the pitching staff so far. The Braves. I mean, Kenley, I guess he's playing up to an 87. I'll take the hits for nine. Not a big fan of this bullpen so far. This is looking rough. The Rays. I'll go Alvarado. That at least secures my third lefty. Come on, just uh, we have two more spots left. Somebody good, please. The Rays again. 66 Ryan Thompson. Bro, I am gonna get shelled. Our final pick goes to the Nationals. Victor Arano at least has sinker slider. Man, I better get a dominant offense because this pitching staff sucks. That's revolution for you, though. We're gonna have to battle. All right, catcher comes from the Jays. Decent start, Gabriel Moreno. First base, come on, I just need like the ultimate power hitting squad. First base, the Cubs. That's the wrong first baseman name, Frank. Second base, come on, come on, show me like jazz or something. Milwaukee, Heston Hira. He's always a fun card to use, I'm down. All right, third base next. Third base, we have the Marlins. Ah, Joey Wendell. Corners of this infield are looking a little bit weak. Maybe we can get a big time shortstop though. The Mets, Lindor, I'll take that all day. All right, our three outfield spots, starting off with left field, the Red Sox. Ooh, Jim Rice. I'm absolutely loving that pick. Come on, show me something good for center field. The Braves, I have not used future stars Michael Harris. Let's give him a shot. And finally, in right field, our final starting position player will be from Cleveland. Another future stars, George Valera. All right, let's knock out the bench real quick with five silvers and lower, starting it off with Baltimore. I'll go Trey Mancini. Next bench spot comes from the Guardians, Josh Naylor. So far, we've got a decent silver righty and a decent silver lefty on the bench. Next up, we have Colorado. Colorado. Yes, Chris Bryant. After KB, we go to Seattle. Julio! Got that speed, got that bat on the bench, and finally, we go to the Twins. I'm gonna go Luis Arias. So that's the offense. It looks pretty good, but we have one veto to use, and we're going to use it on Matt Peacock. Come on, just one dominant reliever. Come on, please. Somebody good. The Mariners. <sighs> Diego Castillo. Well, He's better than Peacock. I almost forgot to spin for a stadium. I was about to just choose Bayfront. Uh, American Family Field. Oh, I always forget that that's the name of Milwaukee. I'm thinking like, where is this minor league stadium? Man, I genuinely have no idea what to expect here. I've never used this Future Stars pitcher, but I don't think he looks very good. The rest of this pitching staff doesn't look very good. The offense is pretty good, but will it be enough to carry this pitching staff on Hall of Fame? I don't know. I don't know why I'm throwing a circle change right here. He was late on fastballs. Oh, that's why. Gave that a good ride though. Make a play, Valera. Yeah, there you go. One, two, three, inning for Bello. I actually don't even know if I'm saying his name right. Is it Be Bayo? I don't, I have no idea. I know Dimu was very excited for Michael Harris. What? I don't want to talk about that. 
Ah, dude, this is my first time facing Weaver. I don't think Weaver's great or anything, but the speed differentials, I could see how he could be a little bit deceptive on some stuff. George, perfect, perfect. Get out of here. Come on. George Valera, perfect bomb the other way. That's exactly what I need, man. Get the pitching staff a little bit of run support. Keston? Oh, no. No. That's either a double or a bomb if I go right center with that. Two good fastballs. Finish it up with a slider. Hung a little bit. Okay. I like that. Can we finish it off with a circle change? That was a great setup pitch. Come on. Oh, he wanted it. There it is. Yep. I knew I'd get him lowing in. This guy's approach is a little bit all over the place. I'm a, hey, that's going to work out for me very nicely. Nope, 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 nope. Just play it on a hop. Don't try to be a hero. Give me my double play. Got it. We got this all day, right? Oh, man. All right, got weave. Two down. Oh, man, he's so early. I'm not throwing him a fastball. He's getting a slider low and inside. Come on. Yes! It's so easy to read what this guy's looking for. Hey, okay, eight, nine, and one. We got to get some more run support. You know, I, I'm feeling good on the mound, surprisingly, but it's only one run. He can get a hold of one at any point. Frank. Yeah, Frank. Nice swing. Here comes the hard part, trying to get him to second base. Like, I want to bunt, but I just feel like he's going to be hosed. I'm just going to swing it. <laughs> we got two guys on, nobody out for Harris. I got to make up for that first at bat. That first strikeout was... Well, it shouldn't be two with 87 speed. Okay, I mean, it's whatever. Got him to third base. We'll take it. And Jim Rice! Go into the gap! That's gone! Jim Rice is still elite! I was having so much fun using this guy in VR, and he is still elite and ranked. That George Valera again? Two for two? I like this guy. I'm gonna go a little hit and run right here. One, one count. Oh, I whiff. And yeah, man, you got to put the ball in play, Kugler. And if I didn't run, dude, my PCI placement right now is very nice. That going? Dude, my PCI placement right now is like perfect. Keep it going. Oh, that's going to be an out, isn't it? Ah, oh, it hung up. That's still a huge inning, man. Let's just have another lockdown inning right here. I've basically got this guy like right where I want him. I can tell what he's looking for at any given count. I just gave him a four seam. He's going to be way early on this changeup. Oh, never mind. Wow, I, I just ate my own words. I'm going back to a fastball. Let's go fastball low and in. Yeah, he's just having so much trouble with his timing on that. <laughs> hey, man, sometimes the fastball down the middle is the best pitch to throw. Man, I mean, that's a perfect pitch, but still, this guy just can't make the adjustment. Wow, we're really getting the lefty-lefty matchup for Joey Wendell. Screw it, bro. I'm going to go Chris Bryant. Ooh, that was, that was a good pitch. That was a really good pitch. I give him props there. Frank! Oh, dude, Frank Schwindel is a tank right now. Two for two? Yeah, that's right. I got the better Frank at first base today. Oh, I just heard the announcers say it's Brian Bayo. See, I knew. I knew I was saying it wrong. I knew. Much better. Much better. I'm finally getting an actual hit with Harris. I mean, Jim Rice is unstoppable. This card is so good. We could low-key win the game right here with a three-run bomb. And Valera hasn't gotten out yet. I spoke too soon. <laughs> I just, I literally have not had to worry about anything when I'm on the mound. And I'm in the, the high 800s. So, I mean, you know, I'm creeping up on World Series. So this guy, obviously, if he's matched up with me, he's, he's got to be either in like the mid to low 700s to the high 800s. Like this guy's got to know at least what he's doing if he's that high of a level. But I just haven't felt like I've been in any trouble whatsoever this entire game. I feel so comfortable right now. And that's going to hopefully be a double play. Maybe, maybe. Man, I, are we not in double play depth? I, I mean, I can throw another slider right here and almost guarantee that I'm going to get him out. It's just too easy. Let's get this mercy this inning. Let's go. 
Wow. <laughs> Hit it a little bit better next time, Keston. Moreno. Moreno. Get going, ball. Wow, bro. I... Moreno and Keston just got absolutely hoed. It's hit triple digits right here. I'm just playing with him now. Get a little funky with a high and away slider. Yeah. Very early or too early or whatever. Got him. <laughs> oh, man. There's just no chance. <laughs> there's just no chance. Actually, I have no room to talk. The the hit I got with my uh, with my pitcher, I, it could have even been worse than that one. Nice pitch. That was a good spot for that slider. A hundred off the plate. Oh, there you go, up the middle with a heater. Nice swing. And then we got him to pop up. Love it. Seven shutout innings from Bayo. Bottom of the eighth. We finally got Houston Street out of the game, bro. I could not hit him. I don't think I put up one sh one hit against Houston Street. Yeah, because Keston Hira was literally the first batter that he faced. Dude, Keston Hira has been robbed twice. What does this guy got to do? That's back-to-back -back ABs with beautiful swings oppo when he just can't get a hit. Getting in the seats. Oh, my God. Dude, I haven't gotten a hit since the fourth inning. Oh my god, bro. I straight up did not get a hit after the fourth inning, and I'm still up 7-0. And Brian Bayo is going for the complete game shutout. Only at 87 pitches, too. This is such a big-time performance, considering how weak my bullpen was for this game. Uh, how many is that? 12 strikeouts? Come on, JG10. One more. KB? Wow. That is honestly one of the most impressive starting pitcher debuts we've had all year. Brian Bayo with a 12 strikeout complete game shutout. That's unreal. And like I said, for how weak this bullpen was, we needed a starting pitcher performance right that he delivered and some. I want to see what this guy's rating was because I don't feel like that. this guy was at 871. How do you let Brian Bayo do that to you?